Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to present from Google Slides straight to a Google Meet. And the benefit of that is that you can use the Q&A tool in the Slides Presenter tools that allow you to take remote questions from people. Now, you can use this if you're in the same room, but it's really helpful during this extended distance learning because I can present to a Google Meet and participants can use a little app, uh, a little website to submit questions to me rather than interrupting during the Meet. So as a presenter, it's helpful because I can see questions as they come in. For participants, it's helpful because they can upvote questions, things like that. So I've got two things going right now. I'm in a Google Meet, and I'm going to join that meeting straight from my iPad. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side to show you what to tap on your iPad to join that meeting. So on my iPad, I'm going to tap the play button to pr start the presentation. When the menu comes up, I can present to a new or existing meeting. So you need to have your meet set up ahead of time. So I'm gonna to present to a new meeting and I'm gonna type in my ID and then I'm gonna tap join. It will open Google Meet on the screen and on my iPad, I have the presenter tools. So I can see my slide, I can see all my notes and all the, op the, the participants see is the slides themselves. I can go slide by slide and it will update in the meet. Now there is a little bit of a delay so you need to be careful about how quickly you're talking. But once I'm in and once I'm presenting, in the top right of the Google Slides app, there is a, a chat bubble. If I tap on that, I can start a new audience Q&A. Now on the slides, I see an app address to go to in order to ask questions. So I'm going to open a new tab real quick and get it off my screen and I'll join that session. So up at the top we have a web address and anyone from this presentation can go to that. When I type in that address it opens up a little web app and these people who are watching can ask questions and on my presenter tools on my iPad, I can see questions as they come in. So I can type into uh, the app, I'll send a question so you can see what it looks like. The question appears on my iPad screen. As I'm presenting, if I want to call out a specific question, I can tap on it and it will replace the slide on the screen with that user's question. So this is really helpful in terms of getting that audience feedback without having people interrupt you constantly. So we're taking two things put together in order to make this work. When you're ready to stop the questions, all you have to do is toggle the switch and the questions can't be submitted anymore. When I leave the question, I go right back to my slide and I continue on with my presentation. So that's the best way really to use Google Meet to do a pr presentation as teachers, you set it up ahead of time. Students can join straight from the slides app. And when they're in, they have presenter notes in front of them, their slides are viewable to the class, and then you can use the question and answer tool in order to get that engagement. This is a little bit tricky to set up, so make sure you practice it. You can leave a comment below with questions. If you have questions or shoot me an email, I'd be happy to answer and help you troubleshoot as you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.